You're looking at a 2013 Dodge Dart 1.4 liter. It's a crank no start. Now, I already know the problem on this vehicle. The crankshaft position sensor is defective and it needs to be replaced. But I wanna go through and show you how quick we can find that problem. I'm inside the car, I've got key on, engine off. I've got a scan tool connected and I'm gonna go into the engine control module and look for first codes. I have two codes, an oil pressure out of range code and then a general pressure sensor correlation code. These are not anything that I'm interested in that has anything to do with the engine not starting. So, since I don't have any codes that are helpful, I'm gonna go into data, which is my PIDs or parameter IDs. And whenever I have a crank no start, I always like to look at the RPM PID. If you see here, it pulls up all of the PIDs and there's a ton of them. We've got two different columns of just nothing but all these PIDs. The more you have, the slower your communication is gonna be. And I wanna see what happens to this PID, to the engine RPM, when I crank it. So I need to take all these PIDs out. So I'm gonna go up to Custom. I'm going to deselect all. And then I'm gonna look for my engine RPM PID. Right here, engine speed RPM. That's the only one I want to see. Now I could do a list view or I can go ahead and graph it. I'm going to graph it just so I can see what happens. I'm going to crank it. Let's see. And it's flatlined. So that means we're not getting anything from our crankshaft position sensor. That's where I'm going next. Now, thankfully on this car, the crankshaft sensor is pretty easy to get to. I've already disconnected the connector and you can see it's just a standard three pin connector. This means we have a five volt, a low reference or a ground, and then the signal output. I've got key on, engine off. I can see my battery is not great. We're at 11.9, so we need to take that into account on doing this test. I'm gonna take Devo out of load mode. And then I'm also gonna put Devo into voltage available mode. Now, I only need one channel for Devo to do this. So I'm just gonna to connect to my circuit negative channel The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to this connector here and I'm gonna plug into one side. I don't know which side is, uh, I don't know where my five volt, my signal and my ground are. So I'm just gonna take a guess and start with one. Okay, now I didn't see anything change and it still says zero. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wiggle the wire here. The purpose of wiggling the wire is to make sure that I have a good connection and that it is touching a ground. See how the, the circuit negative doesn't change and it stays green? And if you also look at the value here, it's not fluctuating, it's staying at 0 .01. That's how I know I have a good ground connection. When I take it out, so I'm not connected to that pin, look at how when I wiggle this wire around, do you see how the circuit negative changes? We get green and then we also get yellow. I just saw red there. And look at our voltage value. It's fluctuating and jumping up and down. What this tells me is that I don't have a connection. It's an open circuit. And what this is picking up on is all of the electromagnetic waves that are around us, that are outside. Even my own body is affecting this reading here. So an easy way to identify if you're actually connected to a circuit is to wiggle the wire. If you see this jumping around and you see the values going up and down, you know that you don't have a good connection or that that circuit is open. So I'm gonna go back down to that same pin I'm connected into it. I'm gonna wiggle the wire around. It's not moving around. That is my ground for the crankshaft position sensor. I get the green LED. I see a low voltage drop, so I know that that ground is good. Next, I'm gonna check the five volt reference. That is my five volt. I know that that's good. So the only thing left to check is the signal circuit. Now notice the signal circuit is exactly the same as my five volt reference. It's a five volt circuit. This means that the computer is sending out a five volt signal and it's waiting for the crankshaft sensor to pull the circuit down. So this is considered a pull down circuit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Devo to simulate the crankshaft sensor 
pulling the circuit down. And let's see what happens. So to do this, I'm gonna take my test lead and I'm gonna actually put it onto my circuit positive because the circuit positive, when we go into load mode, can pull a circuit down because it's gonna load that circuit down. So I'm loading, I'm gonna put Devo in load mode. It's loading it down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the test lead and I'm actually gonna plug it in and out of Devo really fast. Well, there's no way of saying this without making it sexual. So I'm gonna go in and out really, really fast and I'm going to listen to see if I hear any changes in the vehicle. Do you hear that clicking? I don't know how much that picked up, but what I'm doing is I'm actually testing the integrity of the wire, the signal circuit, from the crankshaft sensor all the way to the computer, and I'm also verifying that the computer is seeing a change. So I really don't even need a scan tool for this. I can just do this, and the fact that I can hear the engine computer responding, the control module is responding by, uh, it sounds like, you know, turning on various uh, solenoids or valves or, uh, you know, controlling fuel injectors or ignition coils. When you hear those things activating, that tells me that the signal circuit is intact and that the control module is registering a change. So I verified the five volt is good. I verified the ground circuit or low reference to the sensor is good. And now I just verified that the signal wire between the sensor and the computer as well as the computer is also good. Pretty easy to see this car needs a new crankshaft position sensor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure and like it and send us any questions you have in the comments section below.